Hi, my name is Ron. And my name is LaShawn. Welcome back to the Three Minute Marriage Moment. Well, we hope you survived the holidays from last week. <laughs> yeah, and we hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving. Yes, well, we do got a good question for you today, this week. This week, we were asked, how can I set goals with my family for the upcoming year? That's good. How can we set goals? I know as a Franklin family, we set goals. Every year. Every year. But the awesome part when we set these goals, oh man, we have so much fun doing it as a family and even as individuals. You yes. know, it's fun setting goals. Because we all have our individual things that we want to accomplish. But we wanted to share with you kind of what we do as a family. You don't have to do it the same. I'm sure, you know, everybody kind of has their method to do it. But one of the things that we do, we separately, we write down some things that we would like to accomplish in the upcoming year. We don't call them resolutions, though. Um, because sometimes we can resolve not to resolve and you can talk your thing, you know, yourself out of it. But as a family, we do it because it's an accountability thing. Um, and, at, and we set our goals individually and as a family. So we have, we set, write our list down separately and, <laughs> and then we set a meeting where we all sit down and we combine those lists. Yeah. And some of our goals that we set, we make realistic goals. You know, we got what is called the Franklin top 10. And those goals are really cool. And like last year. And our, our top 10 goals, though, are like our faith goals, the things that we are really believing God to do. And then we have the things that we are believing to accomplish in the year. So, yeah. You want to go a little bit more deeper into that? Yeah. Our faith top 10 are the things that outside of our own strength, we would love to see God accomplish. Like last year, we had 10 things. We had... Um, Obtaining my PhD for free. Well, that didn't happen, but that will move over to the next year. So those are things that we can't do alone. And we believe in God to, to do, but we're all believing God together. So as God accomplished these things or he empowers us to do these things, we check it off and we rejoice. Yeah, and I love it too. And for me, as being a guide, those goals, and you know, a lot of times we got to have goals in our family, you know, goals to do things. I mean, it just makes life more challenging, don't you think? Right, and you see yourself moving forward, and that's the awesome part. You see yourselves moving forward together, and no man is left behind. So we want to leave you with that this week. Sit down, set an appointment time, sit down with your family Talk about the things that you would love to see happen next year, your faith goals and your in, your personal goals, the things that you would like to accomplish. Write them down and post them so that everybody in the family can see it and, and stand in faith with you and encourage you and, and hold you accountable. Yeah, and the awesome part about that is once you write those down, rehearse it. You know, go over and over again, and it's okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's what the rejoicing and the fun part is. You know, do that because even as being individual, married, single, we have to have goals. Yes, and you're going to see these things come to pass over the year. And what does it come past in 2016? Just post them at the top of your list for 2017. Yep, so for an example, if eight of them came forward and those other two didn't, just carry over to the next year. Well, thank you so much. Just remember, you can keep in touch with us, Songs of Solomon, RI.com. Or on Facebook at Songs of Solomon Relationship Institute. Otherwise, y'all have an awesome weekend, week. Enjoy. We love y'all. Peace. Peace.